Is your clutch feeling heavy? Does it feel like your clutch is really difficult to activate and it's slipping or dropping out of gear? Well, instead of rushing to the mechanic and getting them to fix you up with a new clutch costing hundreds and hundreds of pounds or dollars, maybe you just need to adjust the clutch cable. A much simpler fix that costs nothing. My car is a Daihatsu Syrian, 1.3 from 2010. However, clutch cables are very universal and pretty much the same on most cars. This job is a little easier with two people. So you can have one person pressing your clutch cable and as your clutch cable is being pressed, you can be in the engine bay looking for any moving parts. You wanna look for the bit where you can see the cable moving to activate the clutch in the transmission. Bear in mind, my car is a very small, you know, compact Japanese front wheel drive inline four cylinder engine. So there is a lot of space here in the engine bay for you to find it. And here it is here. You can see you've got this cable that runs all the way this way into the car cabin and it runs all the way down here and it leads to an arm lever attachment there which controls the clutch operation inside the flywheel and clutch there which sends the drive to the wheels now if we use a little bit of logic if the clutch pedal is activating where the pedal is quite high as you release it then we need more cable so to give this more cable more slack we should in theory need to loosen that wow it just goes to show how little this clutch cable was adjusted before i had to use one of these to sort of get in between this piece of rubber here just to get it to turn freely so this hadn't been adjusted in ages, which meant this was really stiff. I was watching a few tutorials online and on some of these tutorials, uh, you know, the guy doing the video just turned it and it turned freely. Um, just like this does right now, it turns very freely. So it means I can adjust it freely. So yeah, what I need to do is because the clutch is biting high, as I release the cable, it engages very high up the pedal. So what I need to do is loosen the arm further down. So by screwing this in a I believe that is a anti-clockwise direction in a loose direction. What I'm doing is I'm causing the length of this cable to slacken. Almost slackening this cable here to give me some play because the clutch needs this play. So currently as the cable is doing nothing and it has a bit of play in it, you know, that there's no tension on the system constantly so if you leave a constant tension under the system the clutch is being worn out incorrectly and it's not operating correctly so it's good to have that little bit of play another good idea is, is to now go back into your engine bay and push the pedal a couple times to seat the system so as you can see here i'm applying little to no force on this pedal and now look at that it has so much more loose play this is absolutely not activating the clutch at all. So you've got all this loose play here within the clutch cable, which means that as you press the pedal, none of this is causing any deactivation of the clutch. So what I need to do now, as you can tell, this is adjusted way too much. So I need to tighten what I've just loosened to get a couple centimeters play. I need about this much play rather than this much play. Uh, you know what's fantastic about this is that I'm also learning this as I'm going along. This is all new to me. You know, doing stuff like this is fantastic, but it saves you money and it, it expands your knowledge. So what I need to do now is as I was turning it in a anti-clockwise motion to loosen it, I now need to turn it in a clockwise motion. You'll feel some resistance because you're tightening something rather than loosening it. So let's turn it a couple notches there. All right. And now let's go back and check until we find that ideal adjustment. Then once we've found the ideal adjustment, we can actually test the car by turning it on, putting it into gear and feeling that biting point where the clutch activates. Mm. Uh, the pedal feels more or less the same. Now, if you feel like you're jumping backs and forwards between, what you can do is actually move the clutch arm itself and have a look at all the free play you've got by the actual mechanism itself. So as you can see here, we've got quite a lot of play here, which is causing all that extra play on the pedal. So if we, make our adjustments down here straight off the bat I think that's going clockwise 
Yeah, it should be. Should be going clockwise. And then we check again. A little less play. Turn it clockwise. A little bit more. We feel more resistance there. A little less, more play. <laughs> As you're driving, which will just cause extra wear and tear on it. So there we go. We've got a little bit less of play, less of a play on there. Let's just adjust that a little bit more and see how that feels. That feels very nice. So we're going to go back into the cabin and we're going to push that pedal and see what happens. This is a lot better, yeah. So as you can see, we're pushing the pedal there and that's all the adjustment we've got. We've got just a few centimetres here rather than the, the load of adjustment we had last time. So as you rest this clutch, rest on the clutch. So there's your adjustment, there's your free play. Press that, there we are. Now it's activating. Okay, so I've got the handbrake off, I've got the engine on, the car's just sat stationary as it is. Apologies about all the leaves on the front of the car. I've been away for a week, my car has just sat underneath a tree. It's gathered some leaves and it hasn't been running in a while. I have left the engine running for a few minutes, of course. I love letting the engine warm up before I use it. It's just common sense. Some people just don't do it. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna press the clutch now and I'm gonna see if it engages into gear. So I've loosened the clutch, great. But if you loosen the clutch too much and you press down the pedal and put it into gear, maybe you haven't disengaged it properly. So if you loosen it too much, then you need to just tighten it up a little bit so as, so you're able to put it in gear smoothly without it grinding. Of course, if you've got a really high clutch and you press that pedal all the way down, you're disengaging the clutch to the point where it needs to be disengaged and a lot further. So you're never gonna have that problem it's because I never had that problem previously. Um, but because I've adjusted it and I've got quite a bit of play in the cable, I'm going to press the cable, um, the pedal all the way to the floor. I'm going to slot it into gear, and that, that goes into gear quite nicely. And because I haven't got the handbrake on, as I slowly lift the pedal up, I'm going to feel that biting point when the car wants to lurch forward. So here we go, lifting the clutch up, lifting the clutch up. There we go, there we go. There was the biting point, nice and low to the ground, where it should be, rather than really high up. So. I've now got to get used to driving like this. So I'm going to give it a little bit of the accelerator and we're going to feel that biting point. Lift that clutch up, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> brilliant. Lovely. Oh, wow, yeah. I'm really pleased with that. That's fantastic. Now, you know, just for preference of driving, I might adjust it a little bit here and there just so as I lift that clutch pedal up, we get that instant engagement. And another way to check with the with um, this car, especially this car in particular, is to see whether it goes into reverse properly, because the Daihatsu has a lot of issues with going into reverse. Of course, as I explained, it would have never had that issue previously. But let's see now if it has that issue now. It goes in quite smoothly. No issues whatsoever. It doesn't want to jump forward. It's not slipping. It's not crunching into gear. So, you know, let's take the handbrake off, slowly lift it up. When do we start wanting to go backwards? There we go, rolling backwards ever so slowly. A good way to indicate a healthy clutch is looking at your RPM as well. Of course, if you engage your engine without giving any, if you engage the drive, sorry, sorry without giving it any acceleration, your revs will drop as the friction of the wheels lock into the ground and it starts to roll forward. So, as you can see, it's just over 1,000 RPM there. We'll put it into first, handbrake off, and as we can see, as we roll it back up, we get that engagement. There's the engagement. We start to want to lurch forward a little bit. You see that RPM drop? That's good. If that RPM dropped, so I've currently got the, I've, it's currently in first, and I've got the pedal down all the way. If that RPM drops, when I put it in gear straight away without doing anything with the clutch, with it depressed fully, as now, clutch to the ground in gear one. If that RPM drops, then it means you've loosened it too much and you need to adjust it again. So I'd say, like this, it's perfect. It will just get take a little bit of getting used to.